Hello guys and welcome back to Get Set Python. This will be probably the last video of the Open Weather Map API series. And in this video, we will combine the previously made two scripts that was searching weather by city name and the second one was getting the weather data using latitudes and longitudes. And today, we'll see how we can merge those two scripts into one and add a little more functions to make it more cleaner so this is our first script let me just copy this and paste it all here and this is our second script so i'm just copying this whole one and let's paste it here so you can see that a lot of it is redundant in both the scripts that is this part here we got our data and we are just printing the whole data so we can actually convert this into a function so let's write def show data and this will receive data as parameter and it will display all the details present in the data so our data will be the json object that we will retrieve using this url so this was our first function so let me just remove these redundant lines from here this one too so you can see that this part belongs to second function and this one belongs to first one this line is also redundant and not needed so let me just write def by city let's call it by city function and if we just remove these things okay so dev by city what it will do is it will ask the city name by user open the url request the data and get the data in json format and store it in variable called data now what we have to do is we have to show data and pass data so this will now pass this data into show data function and here we have our show data function which will do all the printing stuff that we did in the video 1 and video 2 of this series. So that's how easy it is to convert a normal script into functions. Of course we could have used this whole script as a function itself but let's not go there and we'll see how we can make another function def by location and you probably have guessed what it will do it will get the location parameters using these five lines that were explained by me in another video on YouTube that was how to get location parameters and this whole part was covered in my previous video in which we saw how we can get the data using open weather map api and our location parameters so we got our location parameters and then we will request the data and we will get the data now what we can do is we can show data and we'll pass this data here so this is our function one which is prepared from weather one dot py that was the first video of open weather map api series on how to getting started with open weather map api the second one that is by location function is the video related to 
how to get open weather map api using location parameters that was my previous video and this show data function is just getting the data in json format and printing it as explained in my first video so we've got all the functions now we just have to call it and we have to prepare a menu based thing so let's write a menu for the user so for choice one we will use by city let me write it more clear get data by city and we'll just copy it and paste it here and if user enters 2 it will get data by location now if now we have to enter the choice so choice will be input enter your choice so this will prompt a message on the terminal and will get the data into choice variable so if choice is equal to 1 but since we are using python 3 you have to be careful since we will get the data in string format and so we have to put quotes around 1 so if choice is equal to 1 we have to use by city and if choice is equal to 2 we have to use by location I haven't put unnecessary conditions here like if choice is not 1 and 2 or negative or 0 or whatever. I have just put an else so that if choice is not 1, we will just call by location. So now the whole thing is done and all we have to do is call this main function and see the beauty of python. So here I am writing. the condition to call this main function and if you're someone new with python you might not know about this line so don't worry about it and just follow as it is in some later video i'll explain what this beautiful line means but for now you just think it think it like that that it will always execute first then we will call this python script so let's see how this works so i'm calling python 3 final.py and we are getting two conditions the first one is if get data by city and as i'm living in delhi i'm passing this delhi and you can see that we got our data now for the second one we can and as i run the script you can see that we got temperature is 32 degrees celsius and by latitude also it is 32 degrees celsius wind speed is 2.1 and here also it is 2.1 and as I explained in my previous video, latitude and longitude differ a little bit because for Delhi, open weather map has predefined latitude and longitude and in the second case, this latitude and longitude belongs exactly to my location and not the Delhi. You can see that we've got a bit clumsy data and so I'm adding a new line here so what it will do is it will just enter a new line after this thing and this thing right here so that we can get data in new line so let's see once more see it is much cleaner now if you're someone much experienced in python you may argue that these lines 
right here are also redundant in here but for making things simpler I have not made another function for this one but you can do so if you wish to so this was the whole series of how you can use open other map API using Python in which we saw three things first one was how to use open weather map api using city name second one was how to use open weather map api using latitude and longitude and lastly we saw how we can combine both the scripts into one and make it more cleaner using functions now you can see that the code is much more readable and it will be efficient in the longer run so that's it from this video guys and the api series of this open weather map api gets over with this video so see you in the next video with some more apis and till then stay tuned bye bye and have fun with python